today we will learn what is PhD synopsis while doing PhD. Now when you want to submit your thesis at the end of your PhD course, you will be asked to submit first your PhD synopsis wherein you will be mentioning uh, like some points. This, this is what I am going to write in, your, in my thesis. This is what I am going to present a thesis. This is what I am going to follow. So you will write in synopsis uh, the everything that you are going to include in your thesis. So one word, synopsis is nothing but a kind of blueprint or a kind of uh, uh, overview of your thesis. So it is not exactly so many pages and with uh, like thesis, but it is only uh, maybe up to 3000 to 4000 uh, 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 words. That's it. So what happens here in your synopsis is you are going to mention what you are exactly doing uh, in your PhD thesis. Now this is mandatory or not? This is mandatory while doing your PhD. And your synopsis must be presented in front of your PhD guide or supervisor and all of the doctoral panel members. And at the end, if your synopsis is accepted, then you can write, then you can start writing your PhD thesis. This is how exactly the meaning of synopsis. Now, what, what synopsis includes really? Now here, first of all, a synopsis, uh, first it includes cover page anyhow. Uh, in cover page you will write uh, the author uh, in, um, and your title and uh, everything. So synopsis means first of all you will make, you will finalize the title. Now these three years of your PhD you have been uh, thinking about the title and you are making some modifications of the title of your uh, thesis and it goes on with many modifications with some suggestions and in synopsis, synopsis you will finalize the title and on the cover page you will be uh, writing all that and uh, after the cover page you will include some contents contents that's called table of contents and after that uh, you will be including introduction so seriously your synopsis starts with introduction and after the introduction, you will write uh, the literature review and uh, this is the second part. And after literature review, you will mention some objectives of research. Uh, this is the third point and later on you will mention the methodology. Like uh, methodology means what methodology have you followed to bring up these things. Then afterwards results, experiments and results and uh, later on conclusion and afterwards the references or bibliography. So this is the overall overview. This is the skeleton of PhD synopsis in 4000 words. So if you have to submit this before writing your PhD thesis and get the approval from your PhD guide and the whole doctoral panel. Now, uh, just don't follow the format which I have just said. You have to take the format from the from your own university. Every university has uh, its own synopsis format. You will get on the website uh, anywhere. It must be. It must be. Every university has its own formats available uh, within the university website somewhere. You can find it out. Please don't follow uh, the format by checking on internet or listening to my video. It is a general basic format. Of course, 90% it will be there, but the 10% some modifications are there from the university side. So when you are writing PhD uh, synopsis, make sure you take that format from your uh, website and uh, include some extra things that they are demanding for. So this is how the synopsis looks like. And once your synopsis gets accepted, the next stage is uh, writing your thesis. Now synopsis is the main part. Thesis anyhow uh, comes from synopsis. Uh, it will be a little bit detailed way and uh, your thesis goes on, goes on. Now how to write PhD thesis and uh, what is literature review? I have my videos uh, uh, there. Uh, just to check, check my videos. Uh, you will know how to write PhD literature review exactly. 
and how to write your thesis you can also check my website phdstudytips.com so thank you for watching this video kindly subscribe and uh, uh, get uh, updates even from my website phdstudytips.com thank you